Last time on Tales of Arise. I'm sorry, sir. I'll never do. You have done disrespectful things. I'm sorry. I, I didn't mean to. I just, I just wanted to loaf of bread. Dude. I'm sorry. You can't do that. It was my bread. You, you are arrested. You're going to be put to work. You're going. I'm sorry, sir. Don't take me. And now back to. How's it going everyone? My name is Kuno. Welcome back to Let's Play Tales of Arise. In the last video, freaking sadness. A lot of sadness, actually. Uh, if you haven't seen the last video, Zephyr has been pretty much, pretty much died. He was set to be executed, but he saved him from the execution. Only for Minnick, who was the Resistance's leader, the Silver Swords, uh, their leader, turned out to be Trincoat to be the actual Lord uh, Ganabelt of uh Cicelodia. and i called it i freaking called it i as soon as i saw how the guy looked i was like wait a minute that guy, guy kind of reminds me of menic and lo and behold i was actually right now i don't know whether or not that was like a relative of his or just a a, a, a look-alike that it was just supposed to be someone that looks like him but um i freaking called that shit, dude i really did uh but uh, we, we took him, we, uh, Zephyr died, and we got a new party member, Law, Zephyr's son. Uh, oops, wrong button. And yeah, we got a whole crew now, pretty much at least four party members. So we actually got a whole team going on. Uh, after we defeated the Lord here, uh, we're making a plan to go to freaking, uh, L. Where is it called? Eld Benicia. That's where the third, the third realm we're going to have to go to. Um, we got this cool armor now, which is sweet. Um, I mean, it looks like it's pretty much the armor that I got on the cover art now. So looks pretty freaking epic, dude. Uh, not going to lie, though. It kind of reminds me of freaking, uh, kind of reminds me of Thanatos from Persona. <laughs> so... Like, I mean, because of the things on the side, you know, it kind of reminds me of that, so. It looks pretty epic, not gonna lie. Uh, I really hope to see whether or not there's gonna be, like, new color schemes like they did with, the uh, from the owls. Because I really want to see that. I, uh... I know we got the battle garb and all that, but, like, I want to see if there's actual, like, different colored Sin uh, Cleaver armor. That would be pretty cool. But... Uh, before we head off, uh, we got this, uh, sub quest that we gotta do, and I'm gonna check in with the, uh, the other freaking sub quest that we got, which is, uh, the freaking guy that was supposed to get the clothes, like, so long ago, so we're gonna see what that does. Right. <laughs> right. Oh, it's you guys again. Thanks again for all your help earlier. Well? No mention it. How's the rebuilding process coming along? I want pretend it's gone perfectly, but we're getting by, all right? Right now, we're in the middle of trying to get all the folks who were hauled in by the snake eyes back home. Uh, hmm. The problem is always the seagulls. They make it hard to go almost anywhere. If we can clear out just a small handful, handful more of them. I think we can manage, but how? Hey, Alfin. You think these, we can take, out to, take time out to lend these guys a hand? With the seagulls, you mean? I don't expect it to make things even between me and them, but I still want to do something to help. I know how you feel, but I don't fucking care. <laughs> we'll handle it. Sure, sounds like a good job. We were there right up our alley. Let's help him out, outlaw. Where do you want us to go, Brigham? Right. Right. <laughs> Gotta have you on board. I, I need you to head out for the nefarious snow plains. If we clear some Zookas out there, we'd be doing a solid. So when we get the area safe to traverse, the sooner we get people home. Thanks, you two. All right, calling the snow plane herds. All right, sweet. Got some uh, more zoogles to freaking take out. More hordes of enemies. Like I haven't already done that. Quite <laughs> honest, I kind of did pretty much the same thing before. It was just like at the entrance. Is this one like? Oh uh, yeah, it's just literally just back here now. Oh, but we might be able to go through the front freaking gate though. Where does that go? Hold up. 
What is that? What the frick is that? But I gotta check that out. Also, you might notice that like my freaking microphone quality might be different because I keep I keep changing it. I don't know why I keep doing it, but hopefully it's, I'll, I'm going to stick with it. Now. I noticed that the last video was uh, at least the last two recordings I did of uh, Yakuza and uh, Tails like we get to sleep with a roof over our heads. has been like my microphone's been like very quiet. So I was trying to bump it up for the last few videos. So hopefully that, you know, solves it. <laughs> Hopefully I got it solved now. Uh, no guarantees though. Oh yeah, I might have noticed. Uh, I had a lot of gold, gold last video, and then all of a sudden it was gone. Notice that after I made uh, all the accessories when I was editing the video, I made the accessories. I didn't look how much gold I had. <laughs> I was like, oh wait a minute, I don't have any more money because of that. I got a lot of enduro ores though. Not nah, what the heck. Yeah, I made a lot of these charms and such, but like, I don't, I don't know. Honestly, though, the poison, I really should have invested in because <laughs> I was getting poisoned a lot. It really happened a lot last episode. Really hope they get some like more like accessories, different types of accessories, I should say. All right, I had to like get a lot of, uh, <laughs> I had to get like a lot of like health items and such for the last time because, <gasps> Oh my god, that 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 boss battle really wrecked. It, it wrecked my health, dude. Oh, and they cost so much, man. Oh, I'm gonna hope that be fine. Stop! I don't want to talk to you. Also, I need to check to see if uh, Law has anything for his camping like stuff, or maybe anyone else. Maybe since I got like this newer armor, gotta check that out. What I probably should do is switch my characters i probably should try out different characters because i've been sticking with alfin for like ever <laughs> so uh, i'm gonna try to see if i can stick with someone else for now um let's try renwell oh Oh yeah, if that's the case, I need to I need to actually get some uh, arts on here. Six CP, holy crap! Thunderfield. Damn, it actually does count. How many times Shion has actually not Shion Rinwell has actually used these things? Hasn't used sharpness yet. Probably should think about that. I wonder if I'm as strong as my dad was. Yeah. I think you'll surpass him. <laughs> I wonder when. Yeah, Rin was not leveled up. Maybe. Listen, she died when I freaking beaten the boss. So. Damn, Rin well. Uh. Oh, did he do his over limit thing? I couldn't do that last video. I couldn't do it. There's the Zoogle we were asked to handle. I it says something about like doing perfect evasions and getting hit. Okay, Rinwell. Owl astral energy. Based on the number of owls you gathered. That's gonna really come in handy for later on. All right, done. All right, let's see if there's any like thing for the camping stuff. Any skits or anything to talk to? It's like my hands aren't responding anymore. Yeah, yeah. Uh, I was trying to look up how to like at least level up a lot more faster. I know there's this thing, the fruit sandwich, but like, uh, I don't have any strawberries or lemons. <laughs> oh, wow, long, you got some more favorite meals. Seems like most of these are going to get a favorite meal effect based on the party members and who makes it. Whoa. See, because a cooking effect 15% for Alfin, but cuts duration by 25%, but boosts the effect by 50% if it was law. Okay. 
Yeah, see, so the effect of, I'll be a lot stronger, but only for three minutes instead of just the five. Ooh. Oh, here we go. See, because now I got Shion and Law to talk to. Shion, could we talk a moment? This is supposed to have your Shouldn't bond you closer. I wanted to talk with you for a bit. I don't really want to talk right now. Right. I'll uh, stop bothering you then. <laughs> I didn't say you were bothering me. Uh. Sorry. Don't take it personally. I'm just not used to being around other people, so I don't really know how to chit chat. Well, for a start, you let your guard down a little. Hey, here's a thought. What if you tell me about your childhood? What with my thorns and all, I didn't really have one. Not to speak of, anyway. Aww. Although, I guess I did have one friend. Who was it? A really old doll. Oh. When I was a little girl, the doll was the only thing I could touch and hold without worrying about my thorns hurting it. I would do things like dress it up or sit it on my lap when I was eating. The two of us were practically inseparable. Can I ask something? Is it about the fact that I played with dolls? <laughs> no, it isn't. I only wanted to ask who gave you the doll in the first place. I don't remember. It was a long time ago. Where is it now? I had to leave it behind when I left Lenegas. I didn't have a choice. Most likely it's long gone at this point. Oh, you're now closer to Shion. You go ahead and sleep. I'm going to grab another bite to eat first. <laughs> yeah, we have to learn a little bit more about Shion. Morning. All right, Brigan, got your thing. Mm -hmm. How are things going with the Zuko's out there in the various snow plains? Making progress. Right. Better than that. We got rid of them all for you. The area should be safe for now, for a while. Damn, nice job. That should make it a lot easier for folks to return for the homes. Much appreciated. Do you think really things are going to go by K for those people once they're back? I mean, think about it. Anyone who got arrested has to realize someone reported them. You gotta make it clear the state is, slate is wiped clean. Retribution is forbidden. Damn. Can't really expect people to just... Hmm. I know a rule isn't going to be enough. Trust me, I'm not naive. But we all have to face each other and confront our past as best we can before we move on. I guess. Yeah, I guess you can't pretend like nothing ever happened. That is true. Reporting someone in just because you want to survive more. I hear a voice. Sucked. Somebody's asking for help. Reagan, you have another thing? Really? Hopefully it's not oh, hey. <laughs> hey, Brigan. Is there anything else I can do to help around here? Right. Right. You bet. Can I ask you to go around and survey some folks? What kind of survey? We need to gather a lot of different opinions about how to make this town a better place to live. Hmm. But I guess because of the constant surveillance we were all under, people have yet to find their voices. So to figure out what people's on people's minds, you think it's going to the mask straight up is their best bet? Exactly. Can I count you in? Hail to the nut, sure. Yeah! Yeah! <laughs> I think I can handle that. I'm used to going around and talking to people. You don't mind, do you, Alfin? All right. By all means, let's get straight to work. Great. Thanks, you two. Thank for stars. Let's ha have you ask a handful of people around town to see how that goes. Yeah! <laughs> Alright, survey says. Survey says. You can suck my left nut. Hey, you, citizen. I need to talk to you. Yeah! Yeah! <laughs> What's with these people just going, yeah! <sighs> Well, if you're out gathering opinions on for townspeople, I guess some for you to pass on to them silver swords. Tell them we let mer us merchants start trading freely already. The bright eyes are gone, so I don't see what the holdup is. I mean, between you and me, our neighboring realm, Claglia, they said they got liberated shortly before we did, right? So while we're over here freezing our butts off waiting for things to open up, they could already be well underway developing their trade. <laughs> ah! Make sure you tell them by all that. All that. I don't want us getting left behind by the competition. Alright. <laughs> hmm? 
Um, what would I change about Seth Slowden? You ask? Well, there's one thing that comes to mind. The execution platform of the Central Plaza. You should really prioritize getting rid of that. Mm. Every time I come across that thing, I can feel myself tense up. You understand why, right? Just looking at it puts me on edge. Alright. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, miss. Next time I'll bring my mommy with me. <laughs> I love that. Can't wait to see you two. Hey, you're that woman who... Hmm? Huh? Have we met... Uh, damn it, I'm sorry. <laughs> mm, have we met somewhere? Sorry, no, just thinking out loud. Yeah! Yeah! Hey, you're that guy who helped liberate Calaglia. That's pretty impressive stuff what you did. I wonder what all the people I ratted on are going to do to me. Drive me out of here? Maybe it lynched me. Wouldn't blame him after everything I've done. I thought you had parents you were looking after. Mm -mm. Yeah, well, they died. The hell was I thinking back then? What you did might have been wrong, but you're still alive. Hey. And as long as you are, it's never too late to turn things around. Don't throw the rest of your life away simply because of hindsight. So you're telling me to live, start, uh, to start living for others now, not just my parents. It's for you to say you're a big hero. You can take it or leave it. I'm just telling you what I do in your shoes. Mm -hmm. They glad you're not. So what it is? Oh, so what is it you're going to do now instead? We're going to liberate Di uh, Dana, so that nobody like you have to go make these sorts of hard decisions choices ever again. That's what I expected. I hear hmm. there's no way anyone would ever forgive a dirty traitor like me. But I had to do something. Try right. repay. Repay. <sighs> You're asking people what they want out of Sisloden, and it could be uh, anything at all. Well, in that case, there's the whole underground prison system beneath Ganabelt's old manor, remember? I, uh, was locked up there and there. I don't care what you do to get rid of it. Bury it, blow it up, whatever. Just make sure that place that can never be used as a prison again. Guy had a gigantic face. You get everything? <laughs> yeah. Let's report back. You have room. a big face, sir. <laughs> Speaking of the uh of that little prison thing, there's also that Zoogle that was in there. How the heck am I gonna get in there? Made it. I see. I see. So people want the execution platform gone. I definitely can't blame for that. Alright. Alright. Their merchants got a good point too. We should definitely prioritize that as well. I don't know what to do about the underground prison complex. Believe me as much as I want that place sealed off as much as anyone, but there's a lingering resident there making things difficult. That's what I said. Mm -hmm. Are you talking about a Zoogle? Yeah, but it's locked inside a cell at least, but everyone's too afraid to go inside that prison with it all around. So if you get rid of it, then problem solved, right? <laughs> you do that for us. I feel bad always asking you folks for some tough favors. Here are the keys to the cell. I just had them in my butt. That thing is a big and nasty, though, even by Zoogle's standards, so watch yourselves in there. <laughs> Why the hell did you have that in your butt? <laughs> I'm telling you, man, that's all I hear. Hey. What? What? Uh, you guys want. Did you come here to take me away? No, we're here to shut down and seal off this prison complex once for all. <laughs> you want to get rid of this place? You mean I have to leave here? Are you telling me you're here because you want to be? Uh, huh? You were a snitch, weren't you? Law. I can just tell from the way this guy's acting. You're afraid of someone you ratted on getting payback, so you decided to hide here and lay low, didn't you? That ain't funny. Yeah, <laughs> that ain't funny. I didn't turn them in because before they did the same thing to me. It was self defense. I shouldn't be punished for that, should I? We were all under the kind of pressure. If you talk to them, maybe you'll under be able to come to an understanding. Hell no. I can't just hand myself to, to them on a plate. They kill me as soon as they s spit on me. What are you going to do then? You can't hide forever. Uh. I can't stay here. I have to find another place to hide, like the underground waterway. I bet that might work. If someone is determined to keep running, I... I don't see why you can't just get out of Sisalodian. Sisalodian. Because no village would take in a total stranger like me. Plus, it's so cold outside the capital, there's no way I can survive. Hey. So you're just gonna spend the rest of your life hiding fear underground. What kind of... 
<laughs> I'm like doing the same voice now. <laughs> I'm like, <laughs> what kind of, I, can't, I can't even speak. What kind of way to live? I can't even talk. What kind of way to live? What kind of way to live is that? What'd you say? What'd you say, kid? <laughs> Shut up, kid. Why do you care so much about having a scumbag like me li like me lives my life? You know, I'm not sure why, but I think you can find a way to start over. You feel a lot better about it. You make it s sound so damn easy. Well, it ain't. You remind me of that old older guy they broadcast getting executed. He's talking a lot about you. <laughs> I <re> damn. <laughs> I remember emerging people not to be like him, to turn themselves around when they had time. Hey, hey, I wouldn't be in this mess if I could. Ask yourself, what could it be you couldn't bear to lose? He said, then hold on to her and never let go. <laughs> Damn it. <laughs> that ain't funny. That ain't funny. Why did you have to go and sound like that rebel? Now I have to get my sorry ass move again. Then you, if I go meet the person I snitched on and apologize to you, you really think I can start over? Yeah, yeah if you're really sincere about it. I'm gonna trust the stranger. Strange Jack. <laughs> Wish me luck. I'm gonna need it. <laughs> Zephyr's words got through to him. The things he risked his life to say were worth it in the end. I just hope he got through to others, too. It might take some time. And I think they'll get there eventually. Eventually. This looks like the cell. Once we open, we're in for a fight. Are we ready? No! Hello. Alright, right, better let's get to work. Polycephrus. Oh, he's level 21. I didn't realize that. Oh! Woo! Oh my god. Ow. Dragon Swarm! Charge up! Oh! don't you dare die! Ow! Oh! I'll frick the cores back. There we go! Oh. Here we go! Uh, uh. Oh. How do I get my over limit? It's said by taking damage and doing perfect evasions, but I've been taking damage. Oh my god. Eat dirt. Bro, he's outside the area. Ow. Watch out! Renwell, no! Ow. Renwell. Do we, do we not? Do we, do we? All right, Renwell, get up. Here we go. Flashing Fang! Ugh. All right, whew. It was a little tough, but I actually managed to do it. Nice. Key to a hidden chamber. Oh, wait, I think I know what that is. You should. On me? Well, I'll do my best. I was hoping that you at least be able to, to be alive this time. All right, devastation. All right, it should be right here. What is in here? Whoa. Alright. Lucky Bangle. 
Right, so that increases the chance of enemies dropping items. Though handy, it still takes luck to helpfully replenish diminished supplies. Let me take a look at it. <laughs> so it just increases item rate, drop rate. Oh. Oof. Hey, Brigand. So there was an informant hiding out there, huh? I can imagine there was a single soul in the city who didn't hear Zephyr's words that day. Right. I, <laughs> right. I think you're right, and that people have taken them to heart and started to change, slowly but surely. We might still have to be cautious right now. It's new air for this realm, and we're still in infancy. But that change is real, and it's taking place, little by little. I guess, yeah, I guess what my dad said really saved that guy's soul in a sense. Hey. Maybe, but your pressing him is what made him remember him in the first place. You deserve a lot of credit too, lol. <laughs> Thanks, Alfin. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, with that Zuko gone, we can now finally seal off the prison. Thank you all again so much for making this whole thing possible. Yay! They have a lot of gold. Not gold, gold. Gold! You see anybody around here? Bring it! For crying out loud! Chase after ah. Uh, Right, hold on, we gotta increase Shion's attack limit because she's a freaking goddess. She is a goddess. Uh, 10 hit boost gauge increase. Boom. Oh, wait, I gotta cook meals with Law too. I didn't. Did I see that before? And I just didn't realize that. <laughs> Alright, Breaking, what's the other thing you got? Hmm. Mm. Hey! Brigan! Huh? Oh, it's you kids again. Judging from that look, Brigan, I'm guessing you got something else that's got your goat. Is it that obvious? One thing after another keeps popping up around here. You don't say. Say, do you, do, do you guys know about the Olven Grotto? Well... That's the case system connecting Calaglia and, and Cicelodia, right? Right, well, the merchants of Cicelodia want to use it to travel back and forth. They start trading in Calaglia, I'm guessing. They must be pretty rugged if they want to make that trip. For one thing, th that's plenty of Zoogles inside there. I'm not sure they thought this the one through. Right. Right. Well, if the one of the run the mill Zoogles are a nuisance, all right, but apparently there's a giant one causing all hell. I'm trying to put together a hunting party, but the merchants are getting impatient and planning on going alone. Oh? Wait a second. I think we already got rid of that big Zoogle we traveled through. Like, yeah, I was, I was ahead of the game. Really? I knew I could count on you kids to get the job done. I have to tell the merchants right all away. Right. All right, I got I got to send one of our dispatches out to Calaglia as well. Ann's about to get even more headache around here. Look at that! Boom, done. Yeah, that monster was a like a lower level actually. It was pretty easy, not gonna lie. All right, thank you, Breaker, for not having making another one. All right, Rising Falcon. I'm gonna try that for Alfin. Probably should get the ones that uh, get the AG restored from critical hits. Because I noticed when I was getting critical hits, I was just... Probably be doing that. Alright, Dragon Shot for Law. Focus on getting the increased B uh, battle gauge for the battle start. Alright, any more? Except for the ones that I have to go do in Claglia. This is perfect. I'll have everybody's mouths watering when they see this. <laughs> you know, I had a thing with Shion, but I didn't get it with Law. Because there was one thing with Law, but it, 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 it never popped up. That sucks. Shion, could we talk a moment? Oh, that was cute. <laughs> that was really cute, dude. I think it's time we go to sleep. Oh my god. <laughs> she wanted to actually check up on him. Bro, have you gotten your thing yet? Mm-hmm. I know what I want to do. I just gotta go and find it. And what I mean by that is I ain't gonna do anything. 
All right, I guess we go on ahead to Venture Forth now. I mean, there's good to be back nothing else to really do, so territory. I move on. Thanks for letting me stick around, you guys. Sure, we're happy to have you. <laughs> of Are course. You sure, you don't want to head back to Calaglia? Yeah, I'm not sure how I can help yet, but for now, I'm going to follow Alfin and see what happens next. Heck yeah, brother. Stick with me. You'll be fine. Okay, off we go. All right. Where does that drawbridge connect to? Whoa. No idea, but I've seen it get lowered. It can't be lowered from this side anyway, so it's useless to us. <laughs> it's useless. Oh boy, there's like multiple places to go. Oh crap. Rosemary, elemental attack. Give it to Alfin, because everyone else is stronger. <laughs> Those bombs of yours are amazing. Who needs a gun when you can send them flying? <laughs> Oh, chest. What's in the chest? Dougal shell mage coat. The design of this equipment is really interesting. Wait. Ha! A lot stronger. Or, a lot better. Heck yeah, uh, Renwell. Heck freaking yeah. Damn, you see how much was going on right there? Holy crap. Looks like it could be worth Oh, Oodle. Hey. Hold on. <laughs> Save them. I should have never left town. It's scary and it hurts to be out here. I'm going home. Oh, nice. Give me strawberries. That's going to be useful. Hey, Mr. Owl. Glad to be back here. Hi. Half frames. Look, Hoodle. One of your buddies. I'm dead, bro. I'm dead. Uh. What's wrong? Hey, are you okay? Shion, uh, uh. uh. we gotta get this guy first aid. I'm hungry. Shion, we gotta get this guy a potato. <laughs> really? What, what? Hey, that's mine. Ah! <laughs> Either I stoop so low as to accept a measly potato. Think again. Sure. If that's how you want to act, fine. Star for all I care. Wait, wait, wait. I haven't even gotten to introduce myself, Miss Yeah, Miss. <laughs> I'm Green Dino, a man who enjoys food above all else. I have come here in search of new, exciting cuisines. To that end, I have come across what appears the most exquisite recipe. However, I like the ingredients needed to make it. I'm impressed nobody has ever turned this guy in. I became so hungry in my search, I collapsed. Hey. You should really take this potato, then. <laughs> Forget it. I refuse to eat any anything other than what's contained in this recipe. Right. Well, you heard him. He's a lost cause. Let's go. I'm not done speaking to you. Can I perhaps ask you to bring me those ingredients instead? I need is apples and wheat. Find me those and I'll teach you my recipe. Uh, here. We already got what you're looking for. Nice work. Nice work. Okay, I guess I'll go with that. In that case, I need you to follow this recipe here. Bake me an apple pie right away. What? Wait. Why do I have to make it? Hey. Hurry up and bake it. <laughs> <laughs> just immediately just me. Well, wow. Here you go. It's all done. I made enough for Shion, too. Hmm. Oh, look at that beautiful dish. It smells just as divine, too. Now to see how it tastes. Nom, 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 nom. What? Wow. This, this is absolutely exquisite. I'm in heaven. <laughs> You're a foodie. Aren't you supposed to be more articulate? Articulate in... 
Describing how things taste? But what else is there to say about it? Absolutely nothing. But if you need me to spell out, it's absolutely... We, we get it. It's good. Alfin, we got our recipe. Let's get out of here already. Sean, wait. What is it? Your clothes are covered in pie dough. What? <laughs> Very nice. Very nice. I feel completely and utterly satisfied. I can leave this room with no regrets. <laughs> it's time I leave and search life even greater cuisines. Farewell, my culinary comrades. Gourmet saga. Berry scavenging. Okay, it's a saga? We're gonna more of this? <laughs> Boy, talk about a spry old man. I can't wait to see him again. You really like that apple pie. <laughs> I really love that apple pie. <laughs> I just I just want it right now. <laughs> Give me my apple pie. <laughs> a lot of fish swimming around in this pond, huh? Are they edible? Sure, they're edible, <laughs> but we've got no way to catch any. Yeah, there's also going to be like some like a fishing thing that we got to do. Because I've been seeing like I seen like three of those by now. Hi. What does the apple pie even give me? What the check here? Hmm. I guess even someone as fashionable as you wouldn't know a whole lot about Dan and armor, right? Not really, no. Like, what's with that scarf? I don't remember that being with any of the armor we found back there. Oh, well, remember how you told me you thought I'd look good wearing some blue? I took your advice to heart and decided to give it a go. <laughs> I see. Well, it suits you. Would you say I've learned to spruce things up like you suggested? I wouldn't go that far. Oh, wait. There's one. Societal su submission. <laughs> look at this. Look look at the gang. <laughs> All that. How can these people carry on like nothing happened? Didn't Zephyr's words reach anyone in that whole crowd? The snake eyes could be anywhere. People are scared of being reported, so they can't do jack. This must be just Speaking after Zephyr's execution. You spend so much of your life as a slave, you stop even thinking of standing up and fighting. Calaglia had a lot of people like that. Well, these people are in no position to demand anything anyway, when they've lost the will to fight and need others to protect them. These people have had a hard enough time just keeping the fires lit. No one wants to sacrifice their life without good cause. It is what it is. Once Ganabelt is out of the picture, things in Cislodia are sure to change. Yeah. I hope so. Damn. I want to say though, I'm really, I really like, um, really liking how these voice actors are, how their the performance are. They're really good at these. Like, I mean, of course they're very skilled at them, but like, I'm, I'm really enjoying just hearing them bring out the emotions and such. Uh, where's the apple pie? Right here. Elemental attack up. Okay. So, uh, it's a Renwell recipe, though. That's a favorite effect. Reduces effect, but boosts the duration. Goes up by 4% for the party. Huh. Damn, how much wheat did that guy take? <laughs> Thought I had a lot more. Rinwell, mind if we chat a little? <laughs> hmm, I see. <laughs> if you go past here, you'll connect to an old path beneath the mountains that goes past the border. Just be careful, it's cold and dark along there. Alright. Still nothing to craft. Can I sell? I can't sell. Damn it. Oh, I can like uh, I can make the lucky ba uh, bangle now. I just need a lucky pebble. <laughs> Look at the fish. You find a good spot on the other side of the spinching bridge across from here. I can't fish though. Did I just learn something? I did. Luna Rondo. 
<laughs> Alright, so this should be the connected point between the areas. Dun, 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 dun. What the, f the hell? Uh, law? Hmm? Yeah, yeah, sorry. Just a little travel weary is all. Looking forward to finally getting out of here, you know? Still beating yourself up about your dad, aren't you? <sighs> I'd be lying if I said I wasn't. But that's not what I was just thinking about. Oh? I never did tell you how I ended up hanging around with the Snake Eyes, did I? Not properly. All I know is you had a falling out with your dad and ran away from home. Getting to Cislodia almost killed me. Once there, though, I actually ended up joining a resistance organization, believe it or not. Of course, before long, someone ratted us out. And we were ambushed by the Snake Eyes. I'd never seen such brutality. If I hadn't surrendered... Law? I don't know why. They let me live. They made me watch as they butchered my friends right in front of my eyes. Holy crap. I still have nightmares. I hear roars of Zoogles as my friends scream. The snow stained red with blood. And all the while those bastards laughing. I thought that with Ganabelt defeated, I'd be able to put it all behind me. Turns out that was a little optimistic. I was terrified they would kill me too. So I wound up betraying the memory of my friends and getting my old man killed in the process. I wonder if I'm any braver now. What if one day I panic again and end up running away like always? And leave us behind? You really think you'd do that? I hope not. But who's to say what I'm really capable of? Ah! I found you! Something wrong, Rinwell? How very perceptive of you! When I turned around, you were gone, so we came back to look for you! Maybe tell us next time you decide to stop? We need all our manpower to face these Zoogles. Jeez, okay. <laughs> I can't help it when Jeez. nature calls, can I? Nature? Ew, gross! Here? Let's make tracks, shall we? I hope he makes it through this. You invited him along. He's your liability. He's Zephyr's son, Shion. What was I supposed to do? Just leave him? Fine. Just don't come crying to me about it, alright? I've got enough deadbeats slowing me down as it is. Damn. <laughs> what a dick. <laughs> it's a far sea cave. Why did people dig this path so far underground? Maybe it was too dangerous on the mountains for them to traverse over them. So you're saying that before Dana was conquered, Danans made this so that they'd have a way to get through the mountains? If I had to guess, they might have even lived inside of these once upon a time. Not like there's any way of knowing now. Not after all our history was lost. No, it wasn't lost. It was stolen from us by the Renans because they thought slaves didn't need it. And because keeping it around would have made it harder to control us. <laughs> it's not all gone. Look at that over there. What is it? It looks like a broken piece from a dish or something. Probably. It's true the Renans erase a lot of our history. But if we look hard enough, I think we'll find there's still plenty of it left. But first, we have to win the freedom to even look for it. We'll win it, all right. Then we'll reclaim our history. Shion's not even caring. <laughs> She's like, uh, I don't care. <laughs> Remember, that's her mission. It's just to defeat the freaking lords. Uh, Fleet Foot Crystal. What? Oh, wait, this might be something different. Make the land with everyone holding it to move faster. Ooh. Oh my god, look at these things. Boomy? Oh, great. There's like two different ways to go. Uh, okay. This one's just a straight fall down. Uh, I guess Messiah is the first place we met. Hala. Yeah, I was a snake eye and you were a silver sword. Who would have thought we'd end up on the same team? You make an odd pair, it's true. 
You guys are the odd ones running with a Renin. <laughs> with a Renin? God, y'all. I got that's always the first thing. You're with a Renin. Ugh. I got a flatfish. A lot of water here. Either this is going to be a, uh, a realm that's got to deal with a lot of water. Or this is just for the, the cave system. I think it's about to run out too. Damn it. Oh, I got a trophy. Diligent counterattacker. So here we go. Like, they're able to go to Overlander. I'm gonna have to look that up. Like, because everyone else is able to do it, but I don't understand how how to actually do it. <laughs> Overlimit. As you take damage and execute perfect evasions, you'll enter Overlimit status for a set period. <sighs> how does the NPC got? How does NPC able to do it and not when I'm actually? I don't understand. Am I not supposed to like use ours or something? Like I don't I don't get it. Wish they were all dead. As you perform perfect dodges and blocks or take damage, you'll gradually enter the uh, begin to enter over limit. You can tell us because your control character will start to glow blue. See, Law's in it. Well, here we go. Miss Gart. Thunder. Oh! <laughs> Damn. Black Onyx. A stone that raises max HP. Though hardly fancy. Plainly valuable effects. Make a surprise to pop her. Ah, gives more health. Yeah, max HP plus 15%. Damn. There we go. I had to like do it like three times in a row. Here we go. I was like really trying to get it for that time. <laughs> the true power of the blazing sword. It's only as strong as the one who wields it. Do you truly mean that? Thank you. Thank you, Shion. Thank you. Talon Hurricane, damn. I need to be stronger. Nice, Shion. How the fuck did you fucking level up before me? <laughs> Wait a minute here. Ah! Walking up and down is a pain. Yeah, I wish we could just go straight through without all this hassle. On the other hand, the collapsed parts let you reach some places you wouldn't be able to otherwise. Now that you mention it, the ceiling's not going to come down on us, is it? There's a chest over here. Oh, hi. And Law's dead again. We won. 
Ugh. Swift ring. A ring that boosts speed and reduces the time it takes to flee. Uh, move and escape speed. Okay, so that makes you faster. Hey, that's what the one thing goes with. Holy crap, dude. Got a giant area over here. Goodness gracious, what the heck is in here? Oh, hey, there it is. It just kind of just did it. What the hell? Just kind of did it on its own. I didn't realize I was doing it. Stronger. Oh yeah. Think you could beat me at arm wrestling? When have I not beaten you? Right. <laughs> I'll just go on ahead then. You want to beat me in arm wrestling? Uh oh. Zoogle shell fest. Probably for uh law. Oh yeah. Let's get the crap out of here. Hey law. Back when we left Sisladen, you remember how you said so long as you don't give up, there's nothing to stop someone starting over? Yeah? Well, I think you did just that. You've set out on a new path despite what happened in your past. Uh. Besides, you're not the only one fumbling your way through things. You too? It was your dad who taught me to fight. Back at the start of all this, I knew that so long as I followed him, I wouldn't end up straying. But it was also your dad who told me the importance of becoming my own master. Of searching out the answers within me. I always figured I would one day. But at the same time, I had so much more to learn. When he died, I suddenly found myself rudderless. Sure, our immediate goal is to defeat all the lords. But then what comes after that? There's no one left to point me in the right direction. It was then that I realized, no matter how much I fret about it, the only thing I can do is fight. Ren in brutality isn't going to right itself. So that's what I'm doing, fighting. And in the meantime, I'll try to figure out my next move. Right now, that's about all I can do. And you really believe you got what it takes to win this? Against all the odds? Yes, I do. Or, at least I want to. If I'm being completely honest, sometimes I'm not really sure whether I can or not. So what if we're still figuring stuff out? If we do it together, then we can support one another along the way. Is there anything so wrong with that? No, I don't think there is. I think I get it now. We may not know what we're capable of, but we have to try all the same. Having another one of your secret meetings? Oh my god. Don't tell me you were taking yet another bathroom break? Oh, we were just engaging in a bit of brotherly bonding. Isn't that right, Alfin? Yeah, that's right. Hmm? Fine then, suit yourselves. Hey, I think I can feel a breeze up ahead. I bet the exit is real close. Finally! Man, it's been too long since I felt the sun on my face. Ah, <laughs> uh, boy, that bonding, you know. Okay, next one. Forever on offense. When I get in a tussle, I go full force right at him. Whoever makes the first move wins. I do have to admit. Oh my God, Hoodle. It's quite the spectacle to watch you charge in and go to town on someone during a battle. Yeah. It was actually my old man who taught me to fight that way. The more I lay the beat down on some baddies, the more fired up my fists of fury get. Zephyr taught you? Wow. I guess you really are following in his footsteps. There's nothing wrong with He is so many if you punch things, things, things should the work out. Always fights back at some point. Eh, as long as I don't get hit, it's not a problem, right? So what you're saying is you're too weak to take a hit. You're not exactly one to talk. Oh, that's right, because you both die a lot. Oh. <laughs> Between men. What were you two talking about earlier? Earlier? Oh, it was just serious guy talk. You know, the kind that girls don't get to hear. Really? 
Don't mind him, Rinwell. It's just... Well, maybe it is a little difficult to talk about in front of women. Oh my god. <laughs> difficult to talk about? Okay, now I really want to hear it. Unless... It's not the creepy sort of guy talk, right? She honestly like, I don't care. No. Okay. <laughs> it's not creepy. <laughs> okay, okay. As long as you're fighting fit, you can talk about whatever you like. <laughs> Let us know, damn it. <laughs> oh. Whoa. This place looks actually beautiful. Yeah, look at this. This is what I, I really like this. Whoa. Yeah. <laughs> We're finally here. Elda Menencia. Elda Menencia. The place certainly lives up to its name, doesn't it? Oh, this is beautiful. Yeah, just feel that. Actually, breeze. some scenery. It's like night and day compared to Calaglia and Cislodia. Unsullied fertile land. As far as the eye can see, that's beautiful. Oh, what? Well, oh, nothing. Just, I was thinking the very same thing. <laughs> that's the realm capital in the distance, the city of Vicent. A word to Vicent? the wise before we continue. Elda Menencia has produced more sovereigns over the years than any other. Uh, Shion. Guess we should probably follow after her, shouldn't we? Hey, you all right, Law? Yeah, fine. I was just thinking how Dad would have enjoyed this view. All this green in one place is incredible. Anyway, let's get moving before we start looking tasty to monsters. Is he going to be okay? He'll be just fine. Eventually. That's a wall he'll have to overcome on his own. Yeah. <laughs> this place does look beautiful. It really does. I'm really liking how different these areas are. Oh. Realm intro. Land of green. Eldamenacea. What a name, by the way. When I think of Eld, I think of, like the volcano in Zelda. <laughs> oh, we got another skit inheriting knowledge. So, if I remember right, there are six elements of astral energy, and darkness is only on Rena, and light can only be found on Dana, right? Right. I only remember because my parents drilled it all into my head when I was little. How did we find out about dark astral energy in the first place if it's not on Dana, though? Beats me. I couldn't tell you how or when we figured out that sort of stuff. I'm sure there's other stuff we've forgotten along the way, too. Yeah, I bet. And then we forget that knowledge was even forgotten at all, and it's back to square one. Exactly. <laughs> then forget that and keep going back. Care of what knowledge and artifacts we still have left. You really have a thing for old stuff, don't you? Well, I don't know that I'd call it just a thing. It's also something that helps me feel connected to our world. Connected? It's nothing. Forget I even mentioned it. <laughs> I should have guessed that there'd be no way he'd understand. How could he? Oh my God, how could he? <laughs> Oh, poodle. <laughs> oh, those two are like goofballs, I swear. Oh, wait a minute. Now I'm kind of recognizing this. I remember way back, there was a demo of this We're game. So and I played the demo before. This is years ago. Yeah, I think this is like the exact area that the demo was in. I just wasn't good at the game <laughs> I might have beaten it I, I can't remember for being uh defense oh give it to law <laughs> law and Renwell are ones dying over here oh, hey Oh. 
Badly beaten man. Uh, I really gotta purry. What's wrong? What's wrong? My buddies got hurt real bad. They can't even move. That's not good. Are they close by? Huh? Are, are you saying you're gonna help them? Xion? Yes! They're just along this path. Please, you gotta help. A healer and her patience. Random quest just started. Treat the injured man and boy. <laughs> Sorry, I have no more CP. I can't help you all. My, my wounds are closed up. You saved me. Please, let me thank you. Beast tail. More maters. Here you go. Wow, that's crazy. It doesn't hurt anymore. Eggs. Eggs from a chicken. Hmm. There's one un, uh, one other person farther ahead. Would you mind taking a look at him? <sighs> Just a look? Yeah, you'll uh, see what I mean once you find him. He dead? <laughs> Making it sound like that. Treat the poet. <laughs> Dana Lion? Is that you? <laughs> this this warm light, might it be? Mm -hmm. Oh, oh my. What sorcery is this? Might you be a miracle worker of some sort? It's just a healing art. No, this is no mere healing art at work here. Mm -hmm. I sense compassion flowing through this energy. Compassion tinged with just the slightest hint of loneliness. Emptiness, even. He's got you pegged. A Alfin, why are you agreeing with him? Keep it up and I won't heal you next time you're in trouble. S sorry, my bad. <laughs> I see, so that's how true bliss feels. Hey. Will you shut up already? Anyway, how did you get hurt? Did Azugal attack you or something? Mm -hmm. Something to that effect. You see, one of the foul beasts ambushed us and injured my companions. And in my fight, I took quite the tumble and came crashing down. Just great. Ugh. Oh, so Zugal didn't actually hurt you then. Where is it now? Is it gone? So it seems. I let forth the most ferocious bellow I could muster. It appears to have fled in fear. Well, be careful in your travels. See you. That can't be. Wait, don't leave yet. I'm a mystery who tells many a tale about this fleeting world in which we live. They call me the Wonder Bard. <sighs> Is there a reason you decided to share that with us? I could tell from the very moment of our eyes met that you two are something special. You're not like most others in this world. I came to witness with my own eyes just how the rich tapestry of emotion you two share come to unfold. Nice. Well, no harm in that, I guess. Name's Elfin. Hey, don't indulge this creep. Very well. It's a pleasure to meet you both. Henceforth, we are bound by fate, destined to meet one another. I am certain we shall only get more dramatic from here. I look forward to the day our paths cross once more. <laughs> now on that note, I must take my leave. There are others out there who yearn to hear my most beautiful voice. Adios, Vanacon Diana. Oh boy. Hey, she on the healer. <laughs> Improved healing hearts. Increase the amount of HP healed. Oh, thank you. That sounds pretty nice. Overload extension. Ooh. Healing circle? Never mean a healing art that gradually restores health to all allies within a circumference. Well, I'm definitely just going to get that for now. <laughs> Maybe we should have left them alone. Thanks, Xion. Why are you thanking me? What? <laughs> <laughs> Why are you thanking me? Don't thank me. Baka. I'm even stronger than before. Nice law. Very nice. If you walk past the bridge, you'll be in warm, sunny El Domenicia. Or if you climb up the hill, you'll be in cold and dreary Sicilodia. Oh, so that's gonna be like our th across the bridge. Okay. Oh, crap. Here we go. Here's some more stuff. What the heck is that? Thunder? Thunder nail. 
A sword named for the light astral energy. Oh, it's light. It's light astral energy. Okay, I see. Here's the fire. Flare claw. Damn, these things look pretty freaking snazzy. Not gonna lie. Blackthorn? <laughs> That's dark energy. Yeah, because she's a Renin. So she has dark energy. Innocent Lily? Damn. Alright, uh, Shion, I guess I can get you the black thorn. That thing looks pretty freaking wicked. Look at the... Is that a flower? That's pretty sweet. Like a rail gun. <laughs> I like how her guns are just like rail guns. Oh, did I just use it? I did. Oops. Because I could have gotten uh, Radiant Light. Or uh, Rinwell. That uses... That's light energy. Story about a young girl and a boy who go on a journey to search for lights. At numerous trials, the two find the light they, they seek. That's pretty nice. Damn, we got three? Damn. Damn, law. I can make your stronger one right now, which is fire. Fire based. Uh, flaming Knights and Wing Gauntlets. Guess I might as well make the, the the better one right equip that i just have to find where to get sturdy mega bones um in bizarre mega cores i remembered one of the enemies dropping them earlier all right accessories there should have more accessories like this yeah the swift ring black onx opal okay Oh, that's the pebble massing. Oh, yeah. Increases health. Poison resistance? Uh, That actually would honestly help in certain cases. Uh, Damn, 200 plus for max HP and light damage. Oh, wow. That could be useful. Because the resistance escape time... Plus 50% movement speed. That would pretty actually be pretty good, not gonna lie. Damn, my resistance goes down by 70. Oh crap. Alright, there's a campground here. I'm gonna use that. Why do you keep staring at me, Shion? Just what is that wolf on your shoulder? <laughs> this thing? I love it. I got it off a street vendor for just 10 gold. He bought it. I don't know if that's something to brag about. <laughs> hey, 10 gold's a bargain if you ask me. Because it wouldn't sell otherwise. It serves no practical purpose. Honestly, I'm surprised you paid 10 whole gold for it. Shut up! <laughs> the detail is so lifelike. I think you made a good choice, Law. Really? I have no idea why you wear it over your shoulder, though. Uh, I think it looks pretty cool. <laughs> Alright, weight training. 87! Holy crap. 88! Go for 89. it! 89! Oh, shoot! What the? Is the enemy attacking? Uh, sorry about that. You're not hurt, are you? Law? What on Dana are you doing? What am I doing? Training, obviously. I found these nice and heavy rocks that I decided to strap onto my arms, but I guess I didn't tie them down good enough because they went flying. So you were doing improvised weight training. <laughs> you and your crazy ideas. I can't help it. If I'm not training, it's easy for me to get anxious. Well, that's fair. Actually, I remember seeing you practicing your forms for some time when we were camping the other day. Yep. No amount of muscle will do you any good if you don't stay on top of your fighting forms. It always feels good when I know I'm still sharp. Sounds to me like you have too much pent-up energy. Don't train so hard that you wind up hurting yourself, Law. I promise you, you're already perfectly strong as Don't you is. know who I am? <laughs> no, I'm not. You never know what we'll run into out there. You can never go into a fight too prepared. And that's the truth. 
Yeah. Besides, I won't rest until I know that I'm stronger than you, Alfin. <laughs> oh, I see how it is. Well, I don't plan on letting you beat me. Hmm. Maybe I'll add some weights to my sword and practice swinging it. That should help out. Oh, brother. Uh, Alfin, are you crazy? <laughs> <laughs> You're right. This does make for decent training. Good call with the extra weight law. Right? Now you get it? Yeah! <laughs> Since we've already come this far, what do you say we have a little one-on-one -on -one with our rocks strapped on? Hell yeah! I'm <laughs> down for that! Just give me a second, I'll be all ready to roll. Okay, I'm all set. Let's do this! Take this! I'm just getting started! Oh my god. <laughs> ah, our camp is completely wrecked! <laughs> Go. You two are cleaning it up. Yes, yes she <laughs> That was... That, okay, that was one of the best ones right there. <laughs> yes, she <laughs> Oh, that was such a good one. I love that one. Out of all these skits, that was that was really good. <laughs> all right, Law, you can actually do something now. Mind if I join you, Law? Hey, Alfin, when do you find the time to train? What's brought this on all of a sudden? It's just even without the blazing sword, you'd still be able to hold your own, right? But I never see you training. I'd hardly call it a regimen. Unless exchanging blows with Zoogles counts. I mean, sure, I get that real-life practice beats training any day. But you must have the odd trick or two up your sleeve. I just told you. I really don't. I just Wait, wing it. I got it. It's your armor, right? You channel the extra weight into your strikes and... It's actually not as heavy as it looks. So not the armor, huh? In that case... Ah, just calm down a little, would you? Why are you so fixated on this anyway? Well, because I want to make myself stronger. You're strong enough as it is. I almost feel sorry for those Renan soldiers. It's not enough. I need to keep working to get stronger. I won't allow myself to fail anyone again. Law? I'm useless the way I am now. If someone else dies because of me... Law? Uh, uh, sorry. Don't put that on Spiraling yourself. Spiraling into self-doubt won't do me any favors. I know that. None of us are invincible, Law. We're all just getting by, doing the best we can. That's all we can ask of each other, right? It's as good a place as any to start, I guess. To start what? My new training regimen, of course. And what better way to <laughs> do push-ups? One, two, three, four. <laughs> I admire your enthusiasm. Just don't overdo it, okay? Just wait. You'll see how strong I can get. <laughs> I don't know if it's just coincidence, but uh, it seems like Bryce is always like voice acting the people that are like so hyped up and like crazy for like training and like getting stronger. <laughs> I don't know why he always gets his rolls. <laughs> what the crap, man? <laughs> I'll take guard duty tonight. All right, so I need bizarre mega cores, which is from the ooze. God damn it! Bizarre mega cores from ooze. Oh, those are the sturdy ones, the shell shockers. Oh, freaking! Hey! Oh, look at them! They're like. Tannish, teen orange, red tropical corsage. Ho ho ho! Ho ho ho! Look, Hoodle, one of your buddies. Some found all of them in uh, Sicilodia. Oh, hey, look at these guys. Oars. Make new weapons with this. Granite fan. I think I needed that. I was just running back real quick to make some, uh, get some more like cores from those shell shocker dudes. So, did you like my boost art? Yeah, it was off the charts. Yeah. 
Now to to get uh the other the bizarre mega core, I have to fight the ooze. Um, which I know there were some here. I just had to find them. Actually, does it say where they're at or? Aha, they do. Underground waterway, the frozen valley. Aha. Wait a minute. Hold up. Here's. Wait a second. Might have figured this out. Our destination. Aha. It's gonna make it way go way faster. An Razor cyclone. Shut him down. Damn, Renwell. This should make for some. Yeah, see, I needed the the granite veins for this one, the thunder nail. Put that bad boy. Boom. All right, and I can make the radiant light. Boom. There we go. I hate camping out. All right, sweet. Found my strategy. All right, guys. I'm gonna end this video here. It's gonna be probably a little bit shorter of <laughs> since the previous ones because i noticed the the last video was like two hours but uh this should hopefully be enough for like at least an hour probably an hour and a half most likely but uh yeah we're here in el Menacea. really uh really liking this, uh where this is going so uh i hope you guys enjoyed this video because if you did go ahead leave a like comment down below and subscribe to the channel if you haven't done it already it really does help me out uh, but anyway, guys, thank you for watching the videos. Thank you for watching the content. And until next time, I'll talk to you all later.